Fiona. I hope that you're well. Today I'm going to do a tutorial on some two-handed fan moves. Today in this tutorial I'm going to be covering extensions, around the head variations, flutters, waves, and many more moves. To start with, we're doing an over the head move. Position one fan in front of your body with your palm and thumb facing yourself. With the frame leading, move the fan in an upwards direction. When you reach the top, bring the fan to the side and do a circle motion or half butterfly at the bottom. Reposition your thumb facing the audience. And this is a back view. Our next move is a wall plane extension above the head. fans together on one side of your body, thumbs facing each other. Bring the fan in front or facing the audience over the top of your head. As you come down on the other side, reposition your fan by doing a half butterfly so you finish with your thumb facing out or facing the audience. And here is a back view slowed down. And here is a variation. Instead of going above our head, we bring the fan around behind our head with the frame leading. And we have the back view. It's a good idea to consider your planes, making sure that your fans are straight. Whether you do this move above the head or behind the head, adding more bend to the side adds more emotion. This is the centre flutter upwards and downwards. Bring the fans together, thumbs facing each other and go out and inwards at the same time. I like to lift one leg or do a passe on the way up and squat with my knees together on the way down. Our next move is an upwards wave. Note the frames are facing in the same direction and they flip on a 180 degree angle as they change which way they face up or down. To get started with this move, flip one fan the other way and continue in the same direction of the frame, then go side to side in a down up motion. And here's a view from the back so you can see the positions of the fans. This move I called the goldfish as the shape reminded me of a long goldfish tail. Start with your fans together on one side of your body. Go up on a diagonal and then bring them out to the sides. Meet the frames together on the same side of your body and then travel across to the other side. Do a few waves then at the bottom. Hand position is very important in this move. You want to make sure when you open your fans that you're keeping them equal and a lot of the time you're keeping your hands together. 
A thing to consider with this move is your body and some quadrants. So if you are going up on a diagonal, you want to make sure that you are in the right position and when you are going across horizontally, that all of your lines are straight. This next move is one of my favourites. It is an extension wave. Start in wheel plane, bring your right arm over the top and down and then your left arm. Then bring your left arm back and then your right arm back. In slow motion, with your frame leading, go over the top and bring your right fan to your right leg. Then do a flip at the top with your left fan, bring your left fan to the side, continue, go backwards. Now we're facing a wheel plane with the left arm and then the right arm will follow. Turning your body is really important when you do this move. And here is the move a few times. It is right, left, left, right. This move is called folding wings in fire fans. Start with your wrists crossed and your thumbs facing away from you. Bring them straight up so your thumbs are facing towards yourself. Then go up and turn the fan so your thumbs are facing away or are facing out. The top part can feel a little uncomfortable depending on your flexibility. When you open outwards, keep in mind your top arm will need to start opening first. So now we're moving on to some closed fan moves. You can go side to side in different variations, stalling your fans horizontally. These moves are inspired by Don Tuss. Check her out on Instagram. It is important to think about the fans stalling neatly and parallel to the ground. You can go in front, behind, and one back, one forward. This is a closed isolation inspired by a double staff move. Start with the ends of the frame together, travel across the other side of your body maintaining a straight line, then swap the position of the frame to horizontal. The one on top becomes the one on the bottom and the end of the frame faces away from you at the switch. Our next move is a closed turn. Start with the fans away from your body with the silk trailing behind and gradually bring them next to your body. The fans will finish facing in opposite directions against your body. One in front and one behind. You can also turn with the fans against your body. This is a linear isolation. The move looks its best when you keep the ends of your frame together and the line nice and straight. Our final move is the extension turn on an opposite plane. This move has one fan horizontal and one fan vertical. To begin this move, flip one fan vertical and out to your side, while you'll turn in the direction with your other hand, the frame leading. Simply reverse this to go the other way. 
As a variation, you can walk or run with this move and you can do a flutter with the fan that's horizontal. So concluding today's tutorial, we've covered extensions, waves, flutters, and many variations. Stay tuned for part two. I have plenty more fan moves to show you. So that was some two-handed fan moves. Thank you so much for joining me. I've left a little info in the description below. All my best to you and I hope to see you soon. So that was some two-handed fan moves. Thank you so much. Thank you.